responsible for more high-speed reel tracks than the rest of the world put together. China's high-speed reel system, known as Gaotie, is the object of envy for many countries. As the wheel trains dominate China's 35,000 kilometers high-speed reel network, a magnetic levitation train prototype is pushing ground speeds to new levels. 那现在的世界纪录就是日本创造了六百零三公里每小时。我们的技术完全可以跑到更高的速度。Could this be China's next super train? When you see a machine with curves like this, you know it is born for speed. A full carbon fiber body weighs under 13 tons, can completely float above the tracks. So light, even a little girl can push it forward without much effort. All of this work for one collective purpose: to get rid of any resistance that slows the train down. Because in our this test, the Gaomen Tower Master Train, it will automatically lift. The lift on top of it, its power will come from the air circulation. An aerodynamic shape, or the bullet head, is a widely popular design among high-speed trains, but not as aggressive as this one. This train was designed to hit a speed of 620 kilometers per hour. Maglev trains aren't a novelty. Six commercial lines are in operation around the world, three of them in China. But this prototype is using a new method to levitate. Superconductors, materials that can completely repel magnetic fields and therefore float above the magnetic tracks. To create such a material, scientists need to cool it down to a temperature near absolute zero, or negative 273 degrees Celsius. So, using this kind of model, I think it should be able to be able to create a magnetic field. Japan. Liquid helium is still very expensive to acquire. In the 1980s, there was a giant leap in the industry. A class of materials was discovered to achieve superconductivity at negative 196 degrees Celsius. That's warmer than absolute zero, so it is known as a high-temperature superconductor. It and we found this high temperature material is different. The steel can penetrate through this high temperature material. When you move forward, you can feel that there is a sudden rise. It is like 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 a sudden rise. This special property, known as flux pinning, allows the superconductor to float in a steadier way. But what's more important, they can work in a warmer environment, attainable by liquid nitrogen, which is cheap and plentiful. Then we built the whole train below. The whole train was all built on this train frame, so its weight is relatively balanced. For the construction of the bridge, it is lower than most trains. So, from a technical point of view, it can also reduce 我们这个土建的成本。这个车因为采用了高温超导制式，它的动力全部在地面上。原来的车上还有个电动机，动力驱动了吧？那么它就不用它了。这样的话，车就很简单，跑起来更安全了。Outside China, maglev technology has taken off in Japan. It set a record of 603 kilometers per hour back in 2015. A maglev line between Tokyo and Nagoya. As scheduled to open commercially in 2027, but for China's maglev prototype, the real challenge is not from Japan, but from within. Since 2008, China has already paved over 35,000 kilometers of its ambitious HSR network, attaining 70% of its 2025 goal to complete its 8 plus 8 HSR grid. Those tracks are not compatible with maglevs. 它是一个有益的补充，比如说这个高温超导磁炉，它就适用于点对点，旅客呃旅游线路，联网要求不高的，但在点对点旅客量比较大的点上，或者在山区，尤其西部这个地地广人稀、拆迁工程量小的情况下，我们这个就更合适。What's next for this super train? 
with Deng and Jin's team are working to extend its test track to 40 kilometers outside of Chengdu, so the 620 kilometers per hour top speed can be put to the test. I want to go for a long time after this to the top, but this is a long time to go. Ah, it's finished. But don't worry, we've got a lot more Razor stories for you. All you need to do is like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button below for notifications. We'll see you next time.